Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video series, you're going to learn how to build beautiful, high-converting WooCommerce stores using Breakdance. You're going to learn how to do a shop page. You're going to learn how to do single product pages. You're going to learn how to do cart pages. You're going to learn how to do a checkout page. You're going to learn how to do an account page with order history and addresses, account details, everything you need to do you're going to be able to do it in Breakdance. That's what you're going to learn in this video series. And you might be looking at this site right here and thinking, wow, that's a pretty nice site. This must have taken a lot of effort. This must have really taken a real designer's touch to get it looking this good. Uh, you would be mistaken. This is actually the default styles for WooCommerce when using Breakdance. I haven't customized this at all. The only thing I did here is install Breakdance on the site. I didn't have to set up a single page and it already looks like this with the two column cart, with the nice animations, the beautiful form fields, the Ajax cart, the two column checkout layout, the beautiful account pages with nice order history, with nice forms for managing your addresses. All of this is the default behavior of breakdance with no customizations at all. And the reason we did things this way is because by default, WooCommerce just doesn't look that good. Here's a default WooCommerce install. I'm using a relatively minimalist theme here. And this is just how WooCommerce looks by default. It's not pretty, as you can see. It looks very dated, and that's because it is dated. So we didn't want to have to start you off with something like this and make you customize it to get your store looking good. We wanted to start you with something beautiful and designed for conversions, and then you can customize from that wonderful starting point. So let's go in and make some customizations. The first thing you're going to want to do before you manually start building out any product pages, the shop page, cart page, checkout page, before any of that, you're going to want to set up your global styles. These allow you to style every part of WooCommerce from one central place, and that way all your colors will match, all your buttons will match, all your typography, and all your WooCommerce elements will match, because all of Breakdance's WooCommerce elements inherit from these global styles that we're going to set up right now. So to set up the global styles, you're going to go to Breakdance in the admin bar menu, and you're just going to click Edit Global Styles. And this is going to let you browse through your site and tweak the styles as you're clicking around. So let's go into WooCommerce on the right, and let's go to Colors, and I'm going to change my brand color to be a purple. And you'll notice that this is affected everywhere that brand color is used. My link, my add to cart button, my active tab style, my secondary buttons. If I go to the cart, you'll see it's affected the checkout buttons on the cart, the links in the cart. If I go to the checkout page, you'll see it's affected the checkout styles. It's affected the account styles. It's affected everything. Let's go ahead and create some custom uh, styles for our buttons now. So let's go to buttons and links. We'll go to primary buttons. A primary button is going to be a solid color button, like proceed to checkout, or if you are on a product page, the add to cart button. Let's go into button links, primary buttons, and let's customize these a little bit to use a gradient. So I'm going to choose a linear gradient from that drop down, and we're going to set the color. We're going to keep with that purple color scheme. But I'm going to use a little bit of a lighter purple for one of the stops on the gradient, a little bit of a darker purple for the other stop. And then let's change that angle a little bit so it looks like that. Okay, that's our primary button style. You're going to see that's the primary button style for the cart button, the checkout button, the place order button. Uh, and then let's go ahead and tweak our secondary button styles a little bit. Instead of using purple, I want to make this a black. So let's let's choose. Actually, we don't want solid black. Let's just do an outline black. So we'll choose outline and then choose black. And that's affected every secondary button on the whole site. Shop page, cart page, checkout page, account page, everywhere. Okay, let's go ahead and customize our sale badges. So we're going to go into uh, WooCommerce and then Other and then Sale Badge. And let's give the background of kind of between purple and pink to kind of match what I chose for that gradient earlier. 
That's nice. And now let's go to a product page and we'll see it's using the exact same sale badge style. Now, if you want to make further customizations beyond what you can do in the global styles, you can. That's what we're going to learn in the additional videos, how to do a custom product page layout, custom cart layout, etc. But the first thing you should do is set up your global styles so that everything kind of looks how you want to begin with, and then you can begin customizing. So check out the link in the description for the next video in this series, where you will learn how to create a custom product page layout. This is Lewis from Breakdance, and thank you very much for watching.